Grand Rising Brothers, and welcome back to the latest and greatest of the BMCMC, the Black Man Can Men's Channel. I'm your host, Frederick Hall for QKA The Messenger. Just wanted to stop and acknowledge, brothers, thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and continuing to support the channel. We are growing day by day. Tell a friend, and also remember, brothers, I'm really doing this for the young brothers. So I want y'all brothers, if y'all not watching on a daily basis, tell your sons, tell your nephews, tell the YGs to come over here. Because a lot of my stuff is based on relationships, personal development, and all around health. And there's never too early a time to start teaching our young brothers that. All right? But the information applies to all men. Also, I want y'all brothers, if you like the video, please subscribe to the YouTube channel, the BMCMC, the Black Man Can Men's channel, as well as the other platforms I've listed below. But that being said, today's topic we're going to be jumping into is about how are we as brothers lifting each other? What are you as an individual doing to lift your brother, your community, your family, and yourself? Without that being, uh, without other stuff being said, we're going to hop right on into it. And last, if this is your first time watching my channel, please watch the video until the end. Let's get it. Brothers, one of the first things we need to do as men is destroy the individual mindset, okay? There's nothing wrong with you doing you and having success as an individual, but there's an old saying, you want to go fast, you can do that alone. You want to go far, we do it together. Brothers, we have to start to be on an each one teach one kind of basis when dealing with things. If you have knowledge, it is a, a sin for you not to share it with other brothers. That is the basis of my platform. So when you have a gift, you have a treasure, you have a talent, it is your job to help lift somebody else, to put another brother up on knowledge, whether it's with relationships, finance, health, or just overall wellness. We as black men need to do more to uplift, help, and cooperate with each other as a group. We all are gonna be better off as a society and as men when we learn to get out of this individual mindset. Another thing, brothers, when we're dealing with lifting each other, it always starts at home. If you ain't doing nothing else, brother, you got to be engaged with home. When I say home, I mean your family, your, your wife, your children, your uh, mother and father, if you're lucky enough to still have them, your brothers, your cousins, that is where you start. Charity begins at home, okay? And when you're doing things in your life, man, I tell people all the time, man, to be a great father, the best thing you can do is be in the bleachers. Be there when your child wins an award. Be there when their football game or their basketball game happens. Be there when they're having challenges in school so you can step in and help them out. That's where it matters. We got to get away from this individual success because your success is based on what are you doing for others. I tell people this all the time, brother. You get the greatest gratification when you see somebody doing well because you played a part in it. All right. So, brothers, remember that. Brothers, we need to get out of the individualistic mindset. That is a European belief. OK, I conquer, I win, I shine. Uh, you know, we all want to be like Mike. We want to have the shoe deal. We want to have all the rings. We want to be the man that takes a shot. Brother, you have to understand that the rising tide lifts all ships. So if you are a man of substance that is a team player that is trying to work with the group, then you're going to make everyone else better. And that's how God works. And to tap into the God within us, we need to look at what it is we are doing to help our brothers, our children, our sisters, our families, our friends become better individuals as well. So when I say we need to have more of a uh, collective mindset, that is what I'm talking about. How are you lifting others? Think about that. It is my true belief that we are most impactful when we are a blessing to somebody else. No matter how big or how small, I truly believe, brother, that when you leave this world, people are not going to remember things. They're not going to say, hey, man, John had the baddest car around, man. He had the finest woman in town. Brother, he had the biggest house. They're going to remember how you impacted other people's lives. Whether it was something as small as telling somebody they got a beautiful smile, telling somebody here's a couple dollars because you see they're down and they're walking on the streets in a bad situation teaching children, helping elders. These are how we make an impact on the world and we lift other people. 
And brother, your life is meaningless if all you're doing is trying to satisfy your own self needs. Like I said, and I'll keep telling y'all, individualism is not African or Asian or Eastern culture. We got to get back to our roots. Last but not least, brothers, in order for the black man to regain his position in the world as kings, we have to get rid of this nigga mentality. When I say the nigga mentality, I mean the all I care about is my shine, my win, how I can thrive, about me. That's not who we are. And the best way to start learning to change that kind of behavior is we need to start looking up our history. Look at our past leaders, whether it's the Marcus Garveys, whether it's the Malcolm X's, whether it's the Farrakhan's. Look at the brothers who are truly shining and have historically made a difference in the world. They didn't make a difference being about them. They made a difference making sure that every brother they were around was having an impact and doing things to help lift one another. We have to get back to a collectivism mindset. And if we don't, it is going to be to our downfall. So, brothers, I hope you were listening. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, please subscribe to the YouTube channel, the BMCMC, the Black Men Can Men's channel. As I mentioned, we are continuing to emphasize the black man's value this month of June. What we need to be doing, how we need to be doing, how we need to be moving. It's all about us now, brothers. The time of the gender battles is over. The black man is putting in the work and the black woman's gonna have to show the worth. And the world is gonna have to give us our due. But we have to be the ones to make the action and make that possible. No one else is gonna do it for us. So brothers, continue to stay on your grind, continue to reach out to each other, continue to work together, build businesses, build bonds, Help your children, help your wives, help your woman, help your family, and continue to be the best man you can be every day. Get 1% better, because at the end, that's 365% better you get every year. So brother, stay blessed, stay strong, stay in your place, and continue to grow, all right? And remember most of all, brothers, that the black man can. And if you ain't know, you better ask somebody. Until then, brothers, be safe.